Hi, Mariano Gomez, the Dynamics GP Blogster here. Welcome to this episode where I will be showing you how to leverage Azure Application Insights to monitor your Power Apps applications. Azure Application Insights is a part of the Microsoft Azure Monitor, which is a collection of services that enable developers and DevOps professionals to monitor their live applications. Now, Azure Application Insights works at the subsystem level with your Power Platform uh, components to basically deliver telemetry information to the resource monitors. So I will show you today how to get this done and how to implement it effectively in your system. There are some trace capabilities. That is a topic for another video uh, that you can actually enable inside of your application using the trace function but I will not be covering that today. I will be showing you the basics, which is just enabling the resource and making sure it's usable with your application. So let's see how it's done. Okay, so I currently have this timesheet application. And if I click on this to play it, it will actually show me the actual application in, in action. I can uh, go now and create a timesheet, you know, select an approver, and uh, basically, once I select the approver, I can choose my call center, etc., and create a timesheet report. Now, if I would like to enable tracking on this timesheet application and just to see overall how this application behaves and performs, I can do so using the Azure Application Insights. And for that, I'm just going to go over here, open a new browser tab, and go to the Azure portal. Now, once you're in the Azure portal, you can certainly click on create a resource and you can type in application insights. And that should enable you to set up a new application insights. This is pretty straightforward, actually. What I'm going to do here is click the create option, the create button. And first thing you got to do is choose your subscription. And I can choose from any of the existing resource groups that we have, or you can set up your own, okay, by clicking this Create New option here. This will definitely walk you through the steps if you wanted to set up a new one, and you can go from there. Now, because this is a timesheet app, all I'm going to do is select, you know, or enter timesheet entry app. That's going to be my new um, instance uh, name that I'm going to track. Okay, the rest you can pretty much do as, as is. And then I'm just gonna click Review and Create here. And finally, once this uh, comes up as the summary, I'm just gonna click on Create here. Okay, so as you can see, the deployment is in progress. And now I have a front and center view of that deployment process. And when it's, uh, when it's complete, I should get a notification letting me know that everything is set. Okay, and over here you can see that it succeeded. So I can then go back and go to the resource directly. So this is my timesheet entry app. And the uh, more important thing here that you're going to keep track of is this instrumentation key because you're going to need this for your Power Apps application. So I'm just going to click the copy here or the copy button and copy this to the clipboard. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to um, close this app for now. And then I'm going to go over here and edit it. Okay. So while this loads, um, the most important thing to keep track of here is that that instrumentation key is going to be the kind of the bridge between your Azure application insight and your Power Apps application. So once the uh, Power Apps subsystem detects that that key is present, it's going to start sending information over to the uh, Azure monitor services. So what I'm going to do here then is I'm going to click on app. And then you will see that there is an instrumentation key field here. All you got to do is paste this key here and off you go. You're done to um, perform all the different options that you wanted to do with this. So what I normally do is I switch from tab to tab. And as you can see, the keys persisted. You don't have to do anything else. And all you got to do then is go to File, click on Save. 
and then publish your new application. So I'm going to publish this version and uh, we will see hopefully some of the effects of doing that. So if I go back now to um, the Power Apps uh, home, the home screen, and I go to my apps and I run this timesheet report, you can then see that I have an, an active timesheet here, which I'm going to click on. And I'm going to add a new line for now. And then let's say I have five hours of admin time that I want to report. I'm just going to save and add a new line here. Okay. And then I'm going to choose a PTO. Let's say I was three hours on PTO. And I'm just going to click Save to finalize here. All right, so here are the different um, components that I added, okay? And let's say now I want to go over and check what happened in Azure Application Insights. I can then go to the application dashboard, which should give me some reports about how um, I should, this application has been performing. Okay, now, because this is a new insight, I don't necessarily uh, think I will have much to show here but you can uh, track things like the avail average available memory, the average process IO rate, the availability test results, average availability, and so on over the, you know, a number of period of time that you detect uh, or that you actually want to monitor uh, at a time. So this has been for the past 24 hours, but if I wanted to change this for the past 30 minutes and apply, I could obtain a refresh on how this has been performing. Okay, so you can measure things like usage, reliability, responsiveness, browser, etc. Okay, and that will give you additional information. But for now, this is all, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, short but sweet video, and you are able to use this uh, effectively. So, how you go about setting this up? Make sure you work with your IT team or your systems administrators and let them know that you want to monitor your application, set up the different app monitoring resources that you want and um, off you go with your key that you must transpose into your uh, Power Apps application. Make sure to save and publish and you're good to go. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.